If you are programming a new AP21 or if your AP21 has recently lost power, you'll need to follow a series of steps to get the time switch back up and running. When the AP21 receives power for the first time, you should see the software version flash on the screen and then a power fail press 3 screen. Press 3 on the keypad to begin the startup programming. The first thing you're going to program is the time. On this screen you'll see the cursor on the hour input. Using the AP21 keypad, type in the current hour. Right now it's 2.15 p.m. so I'm going to press 0, 2. Pressing star will move the cursor to the minute input. Then using the keypad again, I'm going to press 1, 5, followed by star. The cursor will move to the AM PM designator. The default input is AM, so if it's currently AM when you're programming your AP21, you can just press star. To change the AM to PM, you can just press 2. 1 will change it back to AM and 2 will change it to PM. Pressing star will take you to the date input screen. On this screen you'll see the cursor on the month input. Using the AP21 keypad, type in the current month. Right now it's May 8, 2017, so I'm going to press 05 for May. Use a zero before single digit months. Press star to advance to the date input. Here you'll use the keypad again to input the date number. Again, use a zero before single digits. Since it's the eighth, I'm going to press zero 08. Pressing star will advance the cursor to the year input, where again I'll use the keypad to insert the last two digits of the current year, which is 17. Pressing star will store this information and take you to the day of week screen. On this screen, you can use the four key to scroll through the day of the week. Once you're on the correct day, you can press star, which will take you to the first basic step programming screen. On the AP21, you can program what RTC calls basic steps, which are scheduled times the AP21 stores in which the time switch automatically turns the flasher relay on or off. Each scheduled programming instance of on or off is referred to as a step, and you can schedule 16 of them. Since we are scheduling steps for the first time, we'll start with step 00, which you can see here, so press star to continue. The screen will roll to a day and time input screen with the cursor flashing on the day input. Here you can assign the programming step to all weekdays in a week, every day of the week, a single day of the week, or just the weekend days. You can scroll through those options by pressing the for or day key. In this example, I'm going to program for school zone flashers, which I don't want to turn on over the weekend, so I'm going to scroll back to WDY, which represents weekdays only. Pressing star will move the cursor to the hour input. Here I will use the keypad to input the time I want the flasher to turn on. In this example, I want the flashers to turn on at 7.30 a.m., so I'm going to press 07 star for the hours, 30 star for the minutes. The cursor will move to the AM PM designator. Pressing 1 or doing nothing will keep it at AM, but pressing 2 will switch the designator to PM if that's what I wanted to do. But since I'm turning the flashers on at 7.30 AM, I'm just going to press 1 and then star. The cursor will hop to the on off designator where you can input which action you want the flasher to execute. We're turning them on, so I'm going to press 1 to change it and then star to complete my first step. I now have scheduled programming that is going to turn the relay for my school zone flashers on at 7.30 every weekday, Monday through Friday. I will need to also program a step to turn them off, otherwise the flashers will always be on. Just a note, if you're using the AP21 in an application for something like a siren, bell, or crosswalk, you can actually use what RTC refers to as a pulse which is just a programmed amount of time of up to 99 seconds that the relays stay open before automatically closing. RTC has another video on programming pulse length, so if that's your application, make sure you find that video for instructions on how to program the pulse. You'll still need to program on steps, but in those applications, the relay shuts off automatically, so you don't need to program an off step. However, the AP21 does not ship with the pulse feature activated. If your application requires the relay to be on for more than 99 seconds, like in a school zone flasher environment, you need to program a step that turns off the relay after the desired amount of time. In my example, after the flashers have been turned on at 7.30 a.m., I want them to turn off at 9.15 a.m., 
so I will use step 01 to do that. I'll press star to move to the day and time input screen. I'm going to make sure that the day designator is what I need, and here it shows weekday, which is what I want. Pressing star moves the cursor to time. I'm going to press 09 star, 15 star, 1 for AM, star, and since I want the flashers to turn off, I'm just going to leave this designator alone and press star. I now have programmed step 00 to turn the flashers on at 7.30 a.m. on weekdays and step 01 to turn the flashers off at 9.15 a.m. I'm going to quickly use step 02 and step 03 to turn the flashers back on at 2.30 p.m. and off at 4.15 p.m. on weekdays. So here we go. Star to select step 02, star to select weekday, 02 star, 30 star, 2 for PM, star, 1 for on, star, star then to select step 03, star to select weekday, 04 star, 15 star, 2 for PM, star, and then star to select off. I now have four steps completed and my regular school day scheduled. Remember, you can schedule up to 16 basic steps. So if every single Wednesday night you want to turn the school zone flashers on for two hours for after school activities, you can use step 04. Be sure to use the four key to select Wednesday only, input the time, and use step 05 to turn the flashers off on every single Wednesday. However, we recommend only programming steps that occur every single week. In two other AP21 programming videos, I will show how to manually turn the relays on and off for special events that don't happen every week. And I will show how to schedule automatic skip plans for when you don't want the flashers to turn on over holidays or summer break, but you also don't want to delete all of your basic steps or visit the flashers every day of the break to turn them manually off. Whenever you're done creating your basic steps, you can press the pound or exit key to return to the home screen.